specifically around needless anxiety, mm -hmm. what are some of the ways that people can let that go? There are a handful of very effective go-tos, mm -hmm. very well established in research, personally very experienced by me. One is to be able to calm the body at will. If you imagine a kind of stressometer, zero to 10, like how tense and jacked up the body is, zero to 10, let's suppose you're at a seven. Well, if you just take three breaths in which the exhalation is longer than the inhalation, that needle will probably come down to a four mm. in less than half a minute. So being able to, at will, calm your body and to develop over time trait relaxation. In other words, develop over time a resting state in the body that's relatively calm. That's a very, very useful thing. Second useful thing is to tune into the feeling of grit, determination, resolve, moxie, feistiness, et cetera, in yourself, because anxiety has to do with a fundamental mismatch between perceived threat and perceived resources, which are related to actual threat and actual resources. So anxiety has to do with the gap between them. And one way you can help yourself is to bring down the actual threat by, for example, washing your hands when you come home or something like that. And the perceived threat, make sure you're not overestimating the threat. Simultaneously, you can increase your actual resources and your perceived resources. So feeling a fundamental internal determination, strength, fortitude, will really help you feel less anxious. Mm. Third, social support. Mm -hmm. Feeling that others care about you, that they're with you, doing behaviors that connect you with other people on the outside, while simultaneously on the inside, tuning into your warm-heartedness. Social experiences are calming and soothing, whether they're flowing out or flowing in. So interestingly, mobilizing compassion for others will help you be calmer. Mm really interesting. Finding friendliness and kindness for others will help you be calmer. And tapping into the feeling deep down inside that other people care about you will also calm you down. Mm. Fourth, make a plan. Action binds anxiety. Mm. Now your plan might be to wait and see for 12 hours and wake up tomorrow morning and see what the latest news is. Yeah, I think that's a great plan. Or, yep, or your plan might be to gather more information. Or your plan might be to go to the store and try to get the last bottle of sure. soap they've got, hey. maybe. Okay, but you have a plan. Mm -hmm. Plans are good. And in your plan, try to make sure you're not making the error of overestimating the threat or underestimating it. So you want to, you know, that's another element in here is to develop appraisals of things, including the risks for you personally, um, that are relatively accurate and not overly inflated or overly small. Mm -hmm. The last I'll just suggest is this practice idea that you know, which is when you actually are basically all right right now, which is the case for most seconds of most people's lives, really take it in. Try to help it sink in because that internalized felt sense of I'm okay right now, I'm okay right now, is a very important resource to grow mm. inside yourself. This is not about feeling all la-di-da while the Titanic is sinking around you. Mm -hmm. No. When you grow these resources inside, you're a lot more able to find a lifeboat and get other people on it too.